In this lecture, we will talk about git stashing. But what is stashing? Let me explain you first. Let's assume that you are working on specific feature branch, let's call it temp branch. And you have created some new files, you have modified some files, you have even staged some changes. But you have not yet committed them. And let's suppose that at this moment of time you want to check out other feature branch, for example, temp2 branch. But you want to keep changes made in temp branch. And that's where station comes in. It allows you to save uncommitted rock. And uh, after coming back to, let's say, time branch, you are able to retrieve changes from stash and continue work on them. That's what is stashing. But now let's try it actually in action. And for that we already have temp branch. If you don't have, please create any temp branch. And let me check out this temp branch. git checkout temp. And let's make some changes here in this branch. Let me do that in Visual Studio Code and let's change, for example, this file. Let's get back to width 200 pixels and let's adjust bakers.md file. And here let's remove target blank, like so. Let's save this file. And uh, now there are two modified files. Let's have a look at status of repository. Yes, here they are. I can even stage those files. Let's add them to staging area. Or even let's add just one file to staging area, bakers.md, this one. And uh, now let's assume that I want to get back to dev branch and uh, do some work there. And for that I need to first stash those changes made in temp branch. How I can do that? Simply typing git stash command. That's all. Let's press enter and changes were stashed. And here you see notice saved working directory and index state VIP on temp. And here is SHA1 hash and then comes change of the width in a temp branch. So what is that? Let's first have a look again at the bakers.md file and readme.md file. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and here you'll see preview states of those files. Here you see again target blank and here in readme.md file width is again 300 pixels. And that means that stashing operation has somehow removed changes made in those two files and saved them for further use. But where actually those changes are currently located? Let me show you. Let's have a look at contents of the .git slash refs slash stash. And here you'll see this file. And actually we can have a look at it like so. cut.git slash refs slash stash. And here you'll see SHA1 hash. Let's have a look at contents of this git object. git cut file dash p and let's copy this SHA1 hash, paste here. And now I'll see actually commit object. I can replace dash p with dash t and you'll see that type of this object is commit. And here are contents of this commit object. It points to this tree and it has two parents. Outer is me. And commit message is this one, VIP on temp, then comes SHA1 hash and then comes change of the width in temp branch. And that's exactly what we have seen here after entering git stash command. And that means that after git stash, git creates temporal commit, it stores it in git repository and it creates reference to this commit in refs slash stash file. And that's allow us to get back to the stash later on if you want to. Let's do that. But before that, let's check out, uh, for example, dev branch, git checkout dev. And let's assume that later on we want to move back to temp branch. Let me clear terminal and check out temp branch again. Git checkout temp. And we have switched to temp branch. And if I'll have a look at contents of those files, readme.md and bakers.md, they are still in a previous state that was before adjustments. Let's now try to apply a stash. For that, you can simply type git stash and then pop, like so. Let's press enter. And now you see that there are again two modified files. And we have actually applied stash that I have just shown you. And if I'll have a look at contents of those files, you see those changes that were just applied. Here you see width 200 pixels and here you see that uh, target blank was removed. And that's because we have applied stash. And if I'll have a look at contents of the 
dot git slash refs slash stash file once again, you'll see that there is no such file or directory. That's because git has automatically deleted stash file after we have applied this temporal stash. That's how stashing works. But let me show you actually in a more understandable way using graphical user interface GitHub Desktop. But let's try that after the small pause. See you next.